Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist to the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Yamada in the Seven, which is Chapter 107. And, um, I guess I'm back to the normal day, you know. Um, well, this chapter is an, an extended chapter, actually. Um, yeah, we got like 26 pages or so, 25, 26. And, um, it told a really good story. I was surprised, actually, because. First of all, it, it's, it starts with Kotori just easily letting Yamada kiss him, so like that he's already got the power, the mind reading power, right? Which at first I was like, wait, was it really that easy? Really? <laughs> Is he really going to accomplish his mission that easily? And then after that, though, he went on and he started using the power on other people to test it. And, you know, I remember getting this feeling at one point like, wow, is he really going to use it on everybody? But it was only for a brief moment because I got so caught up in the comedy that I never actually considered the fact that he would end up being consumed by the power. So when I saw that page, I was like, whoa, now that you mention it, you're right, he's getting consumed by it. So I thought that was really good how they did that, or how she did that, how Yoshi Kawamiki did that. Um, I just think, like, the way it was resolved was too quick. Uh, literally, five pages... Literally, as soon as Kotori told Yamada that he was getting consumed by the power, he went all, all of a sudden, I see the bags under his eyes and stuff like that. And then, literally, five pages later, it's all resolved like, oh, okay, yeah, thank you for stopping me. I'm like, that's like, <laughs> if, if anything, it should take like an, at least another chapter, you know? Like, <laughs> but, uh, I, ju I just felt like the re resolution was too quick. But um, I do still like the story overall that they took that Yoshikawa Miki told with this chapter. And the different uh, things that Yamada found out by like, reading people's minds, that was really funny. <laughs> that was, like, there were some, some of those were really He didn't go to Odagiri, though. Did he? I think he skipped over Odagiri. He skipped over the student council people, with the exception of uh, Midori and Jean. Midori's was funny. That was funny. Otsuka's was <laughs> That was freaking hilarious. And Noah, there were some really funny ones mixed in there, um, but yeah, I the comedy was great, the story was great. I just didn't like how the resolution was so fast. But that's not it's not that big of a deal. Then they had a little bit of comedy again at the end with Shiraishi being mad that he kind of like accidentally stood her up. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, I got overall I'll give the chapter nine out of ten. Yeah, still it's still a great chapter overall. So yeah. <laughs> pretty quick and simple review. And oh, I'm wondering how this will affect the how the arc continues because like, I'm, like where are they gonna go from here? Like are they just gonna ask her like why she used her power and everyone now? Like I don't know because it's it's interesting now how the arc is how the arc they successfully made me start caring about the arc again, so I guess that's good. Um, Kotori ended up being the one to go to Nancy, so I, I, I'm interested in how the service is going to go now, actually. So, hey, good job, Miki. <laughs> um, now, also impressive that she can actually not get consumed by her, by her power, by the way. Um, you might have mentioned that too, but I just thought I'd mention it too, that it's actually impressive for Kotori to not be Consumed by her power when she's used it on, well, she's used it on everybody too. Or whatever, <laughs> whatever. Who cares? She did use it on the one person who it shouldn't be used on, like Yamada was going to try and do. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. You guys, I have, I, I'm just rambling. Uh, like I said, this chapter gets a nine out of ten. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>